What is up everybody? This is the Air Raid Lord. Uh, the reason I'm laughing is because this is like take 45,000. Just because there are so many interruptions. I kind of expected this, but anyway. Uh, this is a gaming update for June 24th, 2012. This is Gaming Central 3. I'm sure you're asking yourself, what is the Gaming Central Air Raid Lord? We are confused. Um, gaming Central is where I film my playthroughs, okay? Gaming Central 1 is at my main facility where I do most of my playthroughs. Gaming Central 2 was last year in 2011 when I first went to my summer house with my playthroughs and I started uploading footage. Gaming Central 3, because of the horrible quality from last year, is actually in a new location, as you can see, on a new $200 TV that I actually purchased. And it's you know it looks great on my camera, great sound, and I'm hoping that people are going to enjoy the footage this summer with this quality TV, okay? So, let's get into the games coming out this week, and we'll also get into some unfortunate news concerning those games, because, as I said last week, I am actually going to be at an event for five days, Monday through Friday. I will be getting back late Friday, and I might be able to do some gameplay Friday night, but that means I won't be able to do any gameplay for the days that those games come out, because the 26th, a whole bunch of games come out, which I'm going to talk about right now. The first one is, as you see scrolling on the Xbox 360 advertisements that always pop up for some stupid reason, is the Dawnguard DLC for The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, right there. It's some sort of sweepstakes, woohoo. But, um, yes, the first DLC for Skyrim, which is probably one of my most popular playthroughs behind Jack and Daxter, really, really, you know, a lot of people liked it in late 2011 when I did it, and I'm looking forward to it. The funny thing is about Skyrim, my guy is jacked up in that game. My guy has unlimited destruction spells, my guy has the best armor, he's level 46, I beat in almost every quest in the game. So I did a lot of stuff off camera after I beat the main quest and I did those side quests in early January. So when I do this DLC, you know, assuming that you get to keep all of your stuff from the in-game progress, my guy is going to be a beast during, you know, during this DLC, so I can't wait to do this DLC, okay? Um, second DLC, there's two DLCs in two games. Second DLC is the Mass Effect 3 ending DLC, and this is a response to people who played the game back in March when Mass Effect 3 came out. A lot of people were unsatisfied with the ending of the game. They're like, oh, we invested so much time into this game, and now, you know, now we have this unsatisfying ending where everyone dies or we get this really stupid cheesy ending you know why is there no resolution to these characters that we've invested years in and again I didn't play Mass Effect 1 and 2 so it wasn't a big deal to me that everyone fucking died in my ending spoiler alert <laughs> but um basically as a response whoever made Ma Mass Effect I forget but they are actually releasing a free to play DLC and this DLC is basically going to explain more things. It's going to give the player a a larger understanding of how this game actually wraps up. And I think that's a good idea. And I'm actually really surprised that they released it for free. Um, I think they I think if they charge one penny for this DLC, I think people would riot. So. Um, I will be doing that. The only thing about that is that in order to get the ending, you actually have to beat the Elusive Man, and you also have to beat that mission on Earth, which is probably the hardest mission in the freaking game. So I don't know how I'm going to tackle that. And that's actually a question I want to ask you guys. I have a couple of questions to ask my fans. First question, if when, when I play the Mass Effect 3 special ending DLC, do you want me to redo the last mission? Like, there's a, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to beat the Elusive Man. You have to go invade the Elusive Man's base and kill that boss guy again, which I already did. I already have footage of me beating this game. And there's also when you have to do that whole thing on Earth. You have to invade Earth, and you talk to your characters for the last time, and you invade, and you go through the entire infrastructure, and now somebody's getting robbed, and the cops have to go deal with them. That's cool. Anyway... <laughs> Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into the ending of Mass Effect 3. It's not like you just boot up the console and there's, oh, this magically new ending. I'm going to have to look up how this actually changes the game. All right, I'm going to look for the specific part. Maybe I'll do it off camera, and then I will film the part that's new. So let me know. If that's something you're interested in, if you want to see me do the ending for Mass Effect 3 again, uh, 
feel free to let me know. I mean, I don't really know if I prefer because I, I have not played that game in a long time. And I know it's going to be a pain in the ass to beat because it was one of the most frustrating missions ever. Killing countless waves of enemies and then that Reaper like attacks you and you have to launch the missile. Oh my god, it was... Oh my god, that was a hard mission. It was one of the hardest missions in that whole game. So, um, so let me know. Just let me know what you want from the Mass Effect 3 ending, okay? So those are the two DLCs, okay? And there are, there are all, blah, blah, blah. there are also two games that come out. First game is The Amazing Spider-Man, which is based on the movie. I've never actually played a Spider-Man game, but I'm actually kind of interested in playing this because a lot, of, some people have requested that I play superhero games like Batman or Spider-Man or something like that, you know, Superman, like stuff like that. So... I might actually try and place Amazing Spider-Man, and uh, we'll see how I do on that. It'll be on the 360. And then the last game is... What is the last game? Something... What is the, what is the last game that I'm forgetting? It's, it's some sort of third-person shooter. I saw it at PAX East. What is the name of it? It's something The Line. It's some... I forget the name of the game. But it's like a third-person shooter where, you know, it's like Skull and Bones kind of gameplay, and... It's kind of depressing from the trail. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to remember. It's probably going to be in the description, so I, it's eluding me right now. I don't know why. I apologize. It's something The Line. It's some title in, at the beginning, and then it's The Line. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but but I will be doing that as well. So, four things. And then also, this Friday, uh, the Ratchet & Clank HD Collection comes out in the United Kingdom, and I actually have a friend and a fan who is sending this from where he lives, and he's going to be sending it to my summer house, and I will be playing it. And, uh, you know, I didn't honestly want to wait until the American release, because they're releasing it in, like, October, which is the worst time to release a game. It's so, it's a worst, especially an HD collection. It's not like we're playing anything new. The Ratchet & Clank HD collection is the same three games that came out ten years ago. So, why on earth, for the United States, would you wait months later to release this game? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It, it, it's, it's honestly frustrating to me that they would choose that as a release date. But, you know, it is what it is. United Kingdom gets it months earlier, and I, I want, this summer, I want to spend time doing the Ratchet and Clank HD collection. I have brought my PlayStation 3 with me. It's right there to the right of the, of the right of the TV. You can't see it, but it's, it's right below it. I want to invest time and play the Ratchet and Clank HD collection. And it, it shouldn't matter what region of the, you know, globe I get the game from. I've heard that, oh, if you get the United States version, you get a special surprise. And it's like, well, why do the people in the United Kingdom not get the special surprise? Oh, well, because they got the game four months earlier. It's like, why not just have everyone play the game at once? The Jack and Daxter HD collection, it came out in America first, and then it was like one month later for the UK and the other regions of the, of the globe. That makes sense. I mean, I know it kind of sucks that other regions don't get these games before the United States. If it were up to me, I'd have them all released on the same day. I know... I know, you know, shipping problems and different region costs prevent that, but honestly, I don't think any region should get, you know, a higher up on another region. And especially Insomniac, the guys who make Ratchet and Clank, they're an American-based company. So wouldn't it make sense to release your game in America first? And it's kind of funny because I've actually been tweeting to Insomniac on the TV there's some sort of loud sound going on outside. So let's fucking close this door and make sure we don't have to listen to that. Anyway, you know, wouldn't it make sense? I've been tweeting to these guys on their Twitter basically about this problem. And for whatever reason, they're like, oh, you can choose which region. You know, it's not, there's no region locked, which means, you know, if you buy a game in the UK, it's going to fuck you over and not allow you to get it in another region of the country. So... I don't know. So, whenever my friend in the UK or Ireland, you know, he gets mad when I, don't, when I don't say his correct region, he will be sending it to me when he gets a chance, okay? So that will be coming probably a week later. In the time that I'm waiting for that game, I will be playing 
those different releases. So do comment on this video. Please tell me what game you want me to play first. Do you want me to play the Skyrim DLC? Or do you want me to play the Mass Effect DLC? Do you want me to play that freaking line game that I can't remember the first name of it? Do you want me to play the Spider-Man game? What do you want me to play? I'm going to be getting all of these games you know, in the time that I have at this event, I'm going to be going to GameStop and getting this stuff. The DLCs I can purchase right off of the marketplace, but in terms of this other stuff, what do you want to see me play? That is the main point I'm trying to bring up, okay? So that is pretty much it. The only th other thing I did last week was I was on John Rambo's The Show. Definitely look at that. I favored that video. I was also, I also did some retro gameplay of the Conker's edition of Age of Empires. And then I did a Legend of Korra review of the season finale, which, uh, which did pretty well with all the Legend of Korra fans. So definitely look for that. Or, it's actually, it's already up on YouTube. What the fuck am I talking about? Look for, <laughs> look for future gameplay of these games that will be coming later Friday. Again, I'm going to be gone for five days. So, you know, watch my Too Many Games footage, watch my interview on John Rambo's show, watch a whole bunch of other stuff. There's so much other content that I've had. If you're a new fan of mine, I have content from a year ago. I've been doing game playthroughs for like over a year now. I have thousands of videos up on YouTube. I'm sure there's something that you haven't seen yet. So in the five days that I'm gone, go check through my old playthroughs and watch something to quell your hunger. And when I come back, I will be up for the new games coming out for the summer, okay? So, if you have a suggestion, like if there's a specific game, let's say, alright, I want you to play the Skyrim DLC first. Comment, tell me that. I want to hear what people want me to do. I also want to hear what people want me to do for the Mass Effect DLC, okay? I don't want to reiterate playing the same level that I already recorded back in March and, you know, just have a different ending to it. I am going to record the new ending, but I don't want to be, re you know, reiterative. So, again, if you have a suggestion for this, please tell me. I will, you know, accommodate to whatever people tell me. And that is pretty much it. I'm kind of surprised I finished this gaming update in 12 minutes. So, uh, that's it. I'm the Aried Lord. Two games and two DLCs, which I will be getting to Friday. Unfortunately, I cannot do it uh, this week because of my event. Uh, I am still, again, I'm... Another thing that people probably have forgot about, I am still thinking about a Gauntlet Dark Legacy playthrough, which my father and my two brothers and myself were planning on doing on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I don't know if we're still going to do that because of all these games. We'll have to see if it fits, but I will update you in the future once I make a decision. So, I'm the Aerie Lord. Thank you for watching this video. It will be the main video up on my page for quite some time. I will be back Friday night. Look for footage Friday night. Um, if you are, you know, if you want some footage from me and you're not going to get it, basically all you need to do is just watch the playthroughs that I've been uploading in the past couple of days, and that will be, you know, our, our schedule for a good chunk of time, okay? So, thank you for watching. Peace out.